Does your PC have decent specs but still struggles to get the FPS you expect? Before blaming your hardware or buying upgrades, let's try this. 9 actual Windows tweaks that don't require sketchy tools or bloatware, just real changes that can make a difference. This video is for gamers, creators, and power users who want snappier performance without unnecessary fluff. As always, use these tweaks at your own risk. Results can vary by system. 1. Turn off transparency effects and visual animations. If your system feels a bit sluggish, especially with an older or low-end GPU, this is a solid first move. Disabling transparency and animations cuts down on the visual fluff that eats up resources in the background. Here's how to do it. Head to Settings, Personalization, Colors. Switch Transparency Effects to Off. Next, fine-tune the performance settings. Go to System, About, Advanced System Settings. Under Performance, click Settings. Choose Adjust for Best Performance, or go manual and just uncheck things like fade or slide animations. By doing this, you're freeing up both GPU and CPU power that's otherwise spent on fancy transitions in glass-like windows. It's a small change that can actually make a noticeable difference in system responsiveness, especially if you're multitasking or using heavy apps. Quick tweak, real impact. Two, disable startup apps via MS config. Background apps can quietly drag down performance by hogging RAM and CPU right from startup. Trimming down what launches with Windows is a quick win for speed and responsiveness. Here's how to do it. Press Windows key plus R to open the Run dialog. Type msconfig and press Enter to open the system configuration window. To manage startup programs directly in msconfig, switch to the Services tab. Check Hide All Microsoft Services at the bottom left to avoid disabling essential system services. Uncheck any third-party services you don't need to start with Windows, like Steam, Discord, OneDrive, etc. Click Apply and then OK. Restart your PC for the changes to take effect. The fewer apps and services launching at boot, the faster your system gets to the desktop, and the more memory and processing power you'll have available for what actually matters, like gaming or creative work. This tweak helps your PC feel snappier both at startup and during regular use. 3. Disable Memory Compression Memory compression is designed to save RAM by compressing data, but on low RAM systems, it can sometimes backfire, causing extra CPU load and hurting overall responsiveness. Disabling it can lead to smoother multitasking and lower CPU usage. Here's how to turn it off and check it. Open PowerShell as Administrator. Right-click Start, Windows PowerShell Admin. Run this command to disable it. Disable MMAgent minus MC. Restart your PC. To check if it worked, after restarting, open PowerShell Admin again. Run Get MM Agent. Look for Memory Compression. It should say False. Turning this off stops Windows from compressing RAM in the background, freeing your CPU from that constant overhead. Especially on lower-end systems, this can make things feel snappier when you're juggling apps or running games. 4. Enable Ultimate Performance Power Plan Windows often downclocks your CPU or puts cores to sleep to save power, which can limit performance, especially on desktops or high-demand tasks. Enabling the Ultimate Performance Plan stops this throttling, keeping your CPU running at full speed and all cores active for better responsiveness. How to enable it? Open Command Prompt as Administrator. Right-click Start, Command Prompt as Administrator. Run this command. Then, go to Settings, Power and Sleep, Additional Power Settings. Select the Ultimate Performance Plan from the list. This power plan is designed to give your PC every bit of available performance by preventing Windows from downclocking your CPU or parking cores. 
It's a straightforward tweak that can make a noticeable difference in tasks like gaming, video editing, or any heavy workload where every bit of CPU power counts. 5. Set GPU to MSI mode using MSI underscore util underscore v3. MSI mode, or Message Signaled Interrupts, helps reduce the delay between your CPU and GPU talking to each other. This lowers interrupt latency, which can improve your system's responsiveness and smooth out graphics-heavy workloads. How to enable it? Run MSI underscore util underscore v3 dot exe as administrator. Find your GPU listed in the tool. Check the box for MSI mode. Set interrupt priority to high. Then click Apply. Important! Only adjust settings for your GPU. Do not modify system-critical devices or drivers, as that can cause instability. Switching your GPU to MSI mode optimizes how it communicates with your CPU freeing up resources, and improving frame delivery and overall performance. It's a subtle tweak, but one that can give you smoother gameplay or faster rendering times. 6. Disable Nagel's Algorithm This tweak is great for reducing latency in online gaming by improving how your network handles small data packets. Nagel's algorithm can cause delays by bundling packets together, so turning it off helps your game's data get through faster and more responsively. Here's how to disable it step by step. Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and press Enter to open the registry editor. Navigate to this path. You'll see multiple folders with long GUID names. These correspond to your network adapters. To identify the right one, Click each and look for your adapter's IP address under the DHCP IP address or IP address key. Once you've found your network adapter's folder, right-click on the empty space in the right pane and select New DWIRT 32-bit value. Create two new DWIRT entries. Name one TCP ACK frequency and set its value to one. Name the other TCP no delay and also set its value to 1. Close the registry editor and restart your PC to apply the changes. Disabling Nagel's algorithm forces your network to send small packets immediately rather than waiting to bundle them together, improving TCP responsiveness. This reduces lag spikes and makes online games feel smoother and more reactive. It's a straightforward but powerful network tweak if you want every millisecond of advantage. 7. Disable Time Broker Service The Time Broker Service manages background apps and some Windows notifications. While useful for some, it can quietly consume CPU and memory, especially if you don't rely on those background tasks. Disabling it can help free up resources and improve overall system responsiveness. How to disable it? Press Win plus R, type RegEdit, and press Enter to open the registry editor. Navigate to this path. In the right pane, find the Start DWORD value. Double-click Start, change its value to 4, and click OK. This value completely disables the service. Close the registry editor and restart your PC for the change to take effect. By disabling Time Broker, you stop Windows from running certain background tasks you might not need, which reduces CPU and memory usage. This is a simple but effective step to help your PC run smoother, especially on systems where resources are tight. 8. Disable SysMain, formerly known as SuperFetch. SysMain, formerly known as SuperFetch, is designed to speed up app loading by preloading frequently used data into RAM. However, on some systems, especially those with slower or older hard drives, it can cause high disk usage spikes and unnecessary RAM bluff, slowing your PC down instead of speeding it up. How to disable SysMain? Press Win plus X and select Command Prompt Admin or Windows Terminal Admin to open an elevated command prompt. Type the following command and press Enter to stop the service immediately. 
sc stop sysmain. Then run this command to disable it permanently. sc config sysmain start equals disabled. Note, the space after start equals is required. Close the command window. Disabling sysmain prevents these background disk activity spikes and RAM overuse, freeing up resources for smoother performance, especially if you use an HDD or have limited memory. It's a quick way to reduce lag and improve responsiveness during heavy multitasking or gaming sessions. 9. Free up RAM using RAM Map. RAM Map is a free, powerful tool from Microsoft that lets you dig into exactly how your memory is being used. Sometimes Windows keeps a lot of cached data in standby memory, which isn't actively used but still takes up space. Clearing this can free up RAM instantly without rebooting. Here's how to use RAM Map to free RAM. Download RAM Map directly from Microsoft's official website. Run the app, no installation needed, it's portable. Once open, navigate to the Empty menu at the top. Click on Empty Standby List to clear cached memory that's just sitting idle. You can repeat this as needed whenever your system feels slow or RAM heavy. This simple action frees up memory instantly, making more RAM available for active programs and games. It's a great tool to have handy if you want quick performance boosts without restarting your PC. These nine tweaks are simple, safe, and effective when used together. They don't require any third-party optimizers, and they work well even on low-end systems. Stack them before your next game session and let your system breathe a little easier. Let us know your results in the comments. And if you want a full before and after setup video, let us know. Thanks for watching.